Hey everybody, uh, today on the table we have the brand new Kershaw Launch 10. And now this is one of the newest knives from Kershaw and this is one of the California legal autos they offer. And so as soon as I saw this knife was announced, I decided that I had to have it. Uh, not only because it is a California legal auto, which I do enjoy collecting, but because of this really unique blade shape. It has this really nice hawk bill shaped blade. So I think for a lot of people, even if they aren't in California, this might be of interest just because this really unique blade shape can come into play. So this is a small automatic knife, and so for those of you who aren't aware, in the state of California, for an automatic knife with a push button such as this to be legal, the blade has to be underneath two inches in length. And so the blade here is about 1.9 inches. And so I just wanted to give you some quick comparisons between the Launch 10 here, as well as these other California legal autos on the table. So this right here, the Launch 10, I did want to give you a quick color comparison because this aluminum handle right here is a gray aluminum, um, but it is very comparable in color to the Kershaw Link. And so the Link, again, has been out for a while, but one common complaint I hear about the Link is that this gray aluminum color, under the right lighting conditions, it can look kind of purplish. And so I want you to be aware that if you purchase the Launch 10, it's essentially the same color. So under certain lighting conditions, it can appear a slightly purple color, um, but it is a gray aluminum handle. I imagine when the Link, I mean when the Launch 10 becomes more popular, we're going to see a lot more color variations of this knife. So really nice blue would, would be nice to see, I imagine. And I bet it's coming sooner or later. So we have the Launch 10 here, super snappy action. The reason why you don't see a Launch 4 on this table is because the Launch 4 I did own, but I sold it. When I bought that knife, maybe it was just my sample of the knife, the action was super gritty. I didn't like the blade shape. This one snaps open very nicely. So the action on this is very reminiscent of the Protec action. So it's super snappy and secure. So I do like the action on this Launch 10. So these other knives on the table, we do have the Microtech UTX-70, and this is the California Legal Edition. We have the Boker Sub Kalashnikov. This is a real budget knife. This knife costs about 30 bucks shipped. Um, already comes in a few different color variations as well, I believe. Real nice value knife. We do have the Protec Calmigo, and so this is, without a doubt, still my favorite knife on the table. Love that drop point shaped blade. Nice beefy handle to get a grip on, and the action is really nice. Biggest knife on the table that I have, this is a SOG California Special, and nice action on it as well, full size handle, nice jimping. So in comparing these knives all to each other, this knife, the Launch 10, right here on the smooth top, I wish there was some jimping like we have here on the SOG on this knife here. But beyond that, the action is similar to the Protec, and the overall size is similar to the Boker. But let's check out how weights compare. According to the brochure, or the website, this should weigh 1.7 ounces. What I'm seeing is 1.82 ounces, so it's a little over the advertised weight. The Microtech. I know it's the lightest, but let's just see. 1.19, the Boker, 2.42, so it is heavier materials despite being about the same size. Calmigo, 2.17, and the SOG is somewhere in the middle, 2.31. So this is one of the lighter knives on the table. Really nice, so we can take a closer look at it. Let's check it out. Okay, so you can take a close-up of the details on the knife. You can see that Kershaw logo. Nice sharp hawkbill blade. You can check out how the button is recessed. And they do that to keep it from automatically or accidentally firing in your pants. No safety on this one. Pocket clip is reversible, and we got a nice deep carry pocket clip. If I remember correctly, the Launch 4 
did not come with a deep carry clip, although I'm sure you could swap one out later. I do like the American flag emblem on there. A lot of their US production knives have that on there. Have these nice little teardrop shapes on the back of the knife. So we essentially have two slabs of aluminum. Very nice action. There's the top. And again, I wish there was some jimping right there. It would be really nice to get this in that grip. So this side of the blade, check it out. CPM 154 blade. The 7350. So nice to see some of these details up close. All right, so I hope you enjoyed checking out this knife with me. Um, one thing that I, I have a question for all of you out there, what do you think about these sub two inch California legal autos? Do you think they fill a good niche in the market? Um, I think it does, but what do you think about it? For someone who doesn't live in California, would a knife like this even interest you? Um, I know they're very diminutive and some people like small knives to begin with. Uh, me personally, I wish the handles were a bit larger, even if the blades had to be small. Um, but if you're not in the state of California, would you ever consider buying an auto like this? So leave a comment below, let me know what you think. But if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment also for that as well. But as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.